Jake wrote most all of his songs, I think, before the term political correctness was invented. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, some of the songs were regarded, will now be regarded, as uh, sexist, politically incorrect, and, uh, and offensive. And this, this next song is all, all of those. <laughs> it, is, um, it is offensive, it is sexist, uh, and it is dedicated to my wife. <laughs> Stand I respect and admire the frailer sex And I honour them every bit as much as the next Misogynist but give some women the ghost of a chance to talk in their apartment They'll go on again, on again, on again, on again, on again, on again, on again <laughs> I fell in love with a woman with wonderful thighs and hips a sensational belly, I just never noticed her lips were always moving only when we got to the altar and she had to say I do. But she folded her arms and gathered herself and took in a breath, and I knew she could have gone on again, on again, on again, until the entire congregation passed out and the vicar passed on and the choir passed through puberty at the reception. I gloomily noticed her family's jubilant mood, the maniacal laughter, and their ghastly gratitude. <laughs> me when I go for a shave or a sleep or a swim. She talks to me on a Sunday when I go singing hymns and drinking heavily when I go mending my chimney pond. She's down there in the street and at 95 on my motorbike she's on the billion seat. We're to make on again, on again, on and again and again. When I'm eating or drinking or reading or thinking or when I'm saying my rosary she will never stop talking to me. She is one of those women who will never use three or four words when a couple of thousand of these are <laughs> Without talking to me in our bed of our night Throughout the sweetest of our intimate delight She never gets over not even stopping while we go hammer and tongue towards the peak Except maybe for a sign and groan and one perfunctory shriek And then she goes out again, on again, on again, on again And I must assume that she has never noticed that she's just been interrupted Totally unruffled she is and as far as I can see I might just as well have been posting a letter or stirring up the tea <laughs> Not take a hint, not once she's made a start. I can go no belt, she'll bleed or faint or flatulate. She'd not drop a syllable. I could stand in front of a grimly sharpening up an axe. I could sprinkle her with paraffin and ask her for a match. She'd just go on again, on again, on again, and for more. The hind leg of a donkey is peanuts for her, she can bore. The balls of a buffalo, mother of God, I cry one day, or let your kingdom come. And in the meantime, mother, won't you strike this bugger down? <laughs> Well, believe it or not, she appeared to me then and there. The Blessed Virgin herself in answer to my prayer. Despite the vulgarity, shimmering softly dressed in blue and holding up a hand. I cocked up my ears in as the Mother of God began. And she went on again, on again, on again, on and on. We'll have to state how very much I sympathise with the rest of the family. Give some women the ghost of a chance to talk in their bond. They go on again, on again, on again, on again. And again and again and again and again. They will go on again, on again, on again, on again, on again, on again, on. 